Dzień dobry. Dobry, hello. So here we are with Paweł, Kasia in AMQ in Warsaw, meet Bartek as well. And the kitchen. Yeah. Some scrambled eggs. Ah, uh, no, I had breakfast, thank you. But that's very kind of you. Could we have a little word with you, Paweł? Would you like to know? Mm, it's totally up to you. I'd like to get a bit of a, an idea of what it is uh, okay. running a modeling agency no. and what's the modeling uh, industry like in Poland, for example. Okay, my name is Paweł Kowalik. I'm the owner of uh, AMQ Models uh, based in Warsaw, Poland. Um, I'd like to say hi to you and uh, tell you something about my agency. Um, we, uh, we are here since 10 years already, so we have 10th anniversary. Uh, of course, before we were uh, operating on, uh, in Wrocław, this is south, uh, southwest of Poland. Mm, since two years we moved to Warsaw and now uh, we're here. Uh, of course, we uh, operate in local and international markets uh, that we develop and of course our models, uh, many models they develop. Um, we do men, we do women, and uh, that's it. What's the, um, the, the modeling industry like in, in Poland? Uh, I'm thinking in particular uh, maybe for the boys, because uh, Poland is maybe not so open yet to um, menswear magazines and menswear fashion. Um, what is it like to, to run a model agency in, in such a country? Is it the uh, same kind of thing as anywhere else? Like you, you work on advertisement, on uh, editorials, on shows, or is it uh, slightly different? Can you just tell us about it? Um, doing modeling, I mean, doing um, modeling business in Poland, I think it's similar to, to foreign countries, but of course smaller. Uh, especially uh, um, if it comes to um, male models market, uh, in Poland it's really, uh, it's really um, developing since like five, six years. Uh, the menswear industry really grows up, so uh, we as model agencies, uh, we are needed. Uh, we deliver of course men uh, also, um, we have a lot of men, uh, male models. Um, and it's still growing, so uh, the clients uh, need more and more. Uh, I think it's the same uh, in foreign markets. Yeah, so you can actually feel this evolution, right, in the yes. in the menswear market. Yeah, especially that we have a lot of um, really beautiful guys here in Poland. Uh, the same with women, of course, uh, which is really obvious now. Uh, just seeing. Um, Model, models.com uh, rankings so um, and now time maybe for Polish guys yeah because I, I noticed actually on uh, in Paris in Milan that uh, for the past couple of seasons we tend to see more and more uh, Polish male models uh, so do you think that could be some kind of new trend like a new I wish, I wish uh, that there was one. There was a joke. Um, there was a question: Why, uh, why Polish models are so famous uh, around the world? I mean, female models. And the answer was maybe because of uh, Polish water. Maybe something uh, special in it. Uh, do you mean know. water? Do you yes, mean water? Uh, do you mean voda or vodka? Not vodka. Not. Not. Yeah. I mean water. Just water. Maybe it's holy water. I don't know. But we have really, uh, we do have really beautiful guys, uh, the same as, uh, as women. So we'll see. I wish, I wish, uh, I believe that. Yeah. And last but not least, uh, so far since you've been in this uh, business, uh, what are your highest uh, satisfactions? I mean, what's I think. Um, um, Despite the fact that um, I ran business for 10 years here in Poland, um, I think it's uh, so many things to, yet to do, so I prefer not to say 
uh, what's my best uh, um, uh, achievement? Action. Yeah, achievement. But I would just say that we we, we, we do cooperate with uh, with all major uh, agencies around the world, Asia, United States, uh, Paris, Milan, London, Germany, of course, uh, Scandinavia, and so on. But also, my models uh, already worked for uh, major brands like uh, Dolce Gabbana, like uh, Kenzo, like Dior. Uh, but, I, but I think that um, it's still um, a lot to do. Uh, so the best thing uh, is yet to come. Thank you very much, Pavel. Thank you very much.